Oh no! What happened? Are you okay? The water balloon burst! Phew! The sound was like a cloudburst. Can clouds really burst? Excellent question. So, let's burst into the science behind what causes a cloudburst. Zoom in! Why rain is typically regarded as a life-sustaining force, a cloudburst is a distinct meteorological phenomenon characterized by extremely intense and sudden rainfall, usually exceeding 100 millimeters or 4 inches within an hour over a localized area. This overwhelming downpour often triggers flash floods and landslides posing serious risks to human life, infrastructure, and ecosystems. A cloudburst is classified as a geohydrological hazard, meaning it arises from the interaction between geological factors such as terrain, soil structure and slope stability and hydrological processes like intense rainfall and surface water accumulation. But the vital question remains, what makes a cloudburst so ferocious and why does it happen? It all begins when warm, moist air from low-lying areas like plains is pushed upward along mountain slopes, a process called orographic lifting. As the air rises into higher altitude regions with lower atmospheric pressure, it begins to expand and cool adiabatically, meaning the air spreads out without exchanging heat with its surroundings. This expansion uses the air's internal energy, causing a drop in temperature. When the air cools to its dew point, water vapor condenses into tiny droplets, forming clouds, often cumul omnibus clouds, which are towering, dense and capable of producing thunderstorms, lightning and torrential rain. But before the rain begins, Strong updrafts or powerful upward air currents form inside these massive clouds. They suspend water droplets and ice particles, preventing them from falling. As condensation continues, the cloud becomes saturated and heavy, holding vast amounts of water in a fragile balance. Eventually, when the updrafts weaken or the droplets become too large to remain suspended, the water plummets downward in a sudden and intense burst. This is the cloud burst. The shower is further intensified by a process called Langmuir precipitation, in which large raindrops collide with and absorb smaller ones as they fall, causing them to grow rapidly. This makes the downpour even more violent and abrupt. The result is a powerful flood of rain that the land cannot absorb or drain fast enough. In hilly or mountainous terrain, the water rushes downhill, funneling into narrow valleys and riverbeds. This can trigger flash floods, mudslides and landslides blocking roads, damaging homes, and isolating or endangering entire communities, wildlife, and vegetation. So, can we prevent cloud bursts? Unfortunately, no natural disaster can be fully prevented. But we can reduce their impact. Early warning systems such as Doppler radar can detect the atmospheric conditions that lead to a cloudburst up to six hours in advance, allowing time for evacuation and emergency response. Therefore, always pay close attention to weather alerts. 
It's also critical to avoid building in low-lying or landslide-prone areas, especially in mountainous regions. If you ever witness a cloudburst, stay away from rivers, drains or flooded streets as water levels can rise dangerously fast. And most importantly, continue to learn and respect the incredible power of nature. Trivia time! Did you know most cloud bursts happen in the mountains? Also, a single cumulonimbus cloud, the type responsible for cloud bursts, can hold hundreds of millions of liters of water. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Zuria Pierce. Hope you learned something vital today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, oh! Never mind!